Hello and welcome to this second video in our series on trade theories. In this one we're going to be looking at absolute advantage. This idea was first brought about by Adam Smith in his book The Wealth of Nations, which you may have heard of before. The basic idea behind his theory was that nations would benefit if they specialised in exporting goods at which they had advantages in, produ in production and importing goods in which other nations could produce things better and more cheaply. And he saw those advantages coming from things like efficiency. An example he gave was at the time in the 18th century, England was by far the world's most efficient maker of textiles, and so that England should specialise in exporting textiles and other countries should import those textiles. Specifically, he was talking about England and France. The other thing he said that some countries had natural advantages. An example might be France had a natural advantage in wine production because of the climate was more suitable than England's. So if England specialised in producing textiles for home and um, foreign use, and France specialised in producing wine, then England could import good wine at cheap price. France could import good textiles at a cheap price. Let's have a look at uh, some examples, a worked example. So we're going to be looking at melons and coffee in Indonesia and Kenya. OK, let's have a look at this table. Here we're having a look at production and consumption without trade. As we can see, they both produce coffee and melons. If you look at the coffee column, we'll see with the same amount of resources, Kenya produces 20 units of coffee and Indonesia only produces 5 units of coffee. And again, with the same amount of resources, Kenya can produce 10 units of melons and Indonesia produces 20 units of melons. So clearly, Kenya is far better at producing coffee than Indonesia and Indonesia is far better at producing melons than Kenya. So if we add up the total production of both coffee and melons, we see we have 25 units of coffee and 30 melons. Now what if Kenya were to stop producing melons and concentrate on coffee, which it has an advantage in, and Indonesia likewise would stop producing coffee and start producing melons, in which it was better at. Let's have a look at what happens. OK, so by only producing coffee, Kenya produces 40 coffees, and only producing melons, Indonesia produces 40 melons. So we now have a total of 40 coffees and 40 units of melons. Let's compare this with a before and after, shall we? So before, the world production of coffee was 25, and the world production of melons was 30. Now we've gone up for 40 for both. We have a net gain of 15 coffees and 10 melons in the world. So the world is better off by 15 coffees and 10 melons. And so we can see that by specialising in the goods in which we have an absolute advantage, we can produce more and then trade them with other nations and get net gains for everyone. All right, in the next video we'll move on to a more sophisticated argument, that of comparative advantage that was brought up by David Ricardo.